Good morning, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's literally 9 a.m. Um, which I normally would not be up at this time, but I'm looking for some leggings. Um, I do have a nail appointment at 10, so it's 9 o'clock, like I said. Um, so I need to leave here shortly. I have a nail appointment. I'm getting my nails done to be um, nice and ready for back to work. <laughs> um, but I'm so tired. So tired. But I'm glad my nail girl was able to get me in. Because she's so busy all the time. She has a lot of appointments. Um, and I asked her if she had any appointments like less than two weeks ago. And she still um, was able to get me in. So... Yeah, I'm just so tired. <laughs> um, I was going to say else today for you. I'm just going to wear something super cozy because I'm literally so cold and tired. So I'm going to wear this sweater that my cousin um made from her boutique. I didn't even sleep that late. I don't know why I feel so tired. I guess because I'm not used to waking up at this, t at this time anymore. But I have to get used to it because I'm literally going back to work. It's Tuesday today, and I go back to work on Monday. Um, so I have to get used to it. And I had actually set my alarm at um, 8.30 because I was going to get up and like put a, little, put a little bit of makeup on and my alarm ring. And I was like, no. I was like, we are not doing this today. So I put it on snooze, and then it rang like five minutes later again. And I was like, no. <laughs> So I turned it off and I set it to 9 a.m. I was like, you know what? 9 a.m. is plenty of time to just get up and change and do a ponytail on my hair. And we'll get some Starbucks because I'm so tired. <laughs> so I'm just going to do my ponytail really quick and go get my Starbucks. And then head to her house. She, only, she lives like maybe... How far is it from here? Maybe like... Less than 20 minutes from me, so it won't take you that long. I don't know where I left my purse. Oh, here it is. Um, I just got my work schedule for the week. Like my, my manager just sent it to me, and <laughs> it makes me so sad. <laughs> like, I'm kind of excited to go back, honestly, and not be here all the time by myself bored. <laughs> and just have something to, like, entertain myself with all day and not really have time to think a lot. <laughs> but... But like I'm sad because I've been here for three months like without working and now I'm going back and it's it feels weird. I don't know. It just feels weird. And this is literally the longest time I've ever had off from working, you guys, since I started working when I was 18 years old. I literally started working straight after high school. I think literally the summer right after I graduated. I graduated in May and I think I started working in July in retail, mind you. So I've been working in retail slash working in general for about eight years now so that was the longest time i've ever had off like i said before this i would i've taken like vacation time off i think the most i've taken is two weeks or a little bit over two weeks but 12 weeks is a lot so it's gonna feel weird it's 9 15 i'm gonna go because i'm gonna order my starbucks pick it up and then go get my nails done and i'll show you guys what i got um when i'm done it's already like six and i just got back home because i went to my parents after because my sister was over there but here are the cloths, you guys. Let me get in some better lighting. Look how cute they are. I am obsessed. <clears throat> I wanted something for Valentine's Day, but nothing too crazy because I still wanted it to match my like everyday outfits. So I went with this like baby doll pink and like pink hearts on these, and then just a couple of rhinestones. So cute. Um, yeah, my nail girl is literally the best. She does the best nails. They're so cute. I will have her Instagram right here somewhere on the screen, but. Yeah, so excited. I still need to do an Ulta haul. And I just got some stuff from Shein, so let me show you guys. Hold on. This is a good angle. <clears throat> so first things first, I got this big clear tote bag for work because I can only use clear bags and I'm going back to work soon, like I said. So this I got a big one because I want to be able to put my lunch in it and my like personal stuff, like my wallet and all that stuff, like the essentials, all in one bag. That way I don't have to carry a lunch bag and a clear bag. So I got this one, <clears throat> but I also got this little one for when I do want just like a small little purse. So I have this one, which I can wear like this, or just let the chain down like this, and it has a long strap right here. So 
my sister gave me these i think she got these from amazon it's the shop miss a lashes i think for the glue and the lash applicator which i've been really wanting to try <clears throat> and then i also got some brow pencils from shein i love these my sister also got me the elf um little puff sponge that's very popular and always sold out <clears throat> i got a pack of earrings from shein these all came together and it was literally like seven dollars for all these look how cute they are and then <clears throat> i got a flash out we'll see look how tiny this looks but i saw the reviews and it said that it's very stretchy and it also comes with a pouch that they um tote and I just got this like vest that I don't want to show you guys. So I'm too lazy to take it out. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Oh my god, I have to stretch. Oh. Oh. It's actually nine in the morning, and I usually would just go back to sleep. Like I literally just woke up, and I usually wake up like early-ish. Look at the time, and I'm like, it's so early, and I go back to sleep. But I told myself yesterday, I'm like, I'm going to set an alarm and I'm going to get up earlier so I can have time to do a lot of stuff because I always wake up literally like at 11 and I have no time to do anything. So I didn't put an alarm, but I literally naturally woke up right now and I was like, you know what? This is the time I was set. I was going to get up, so let me get up. So I'm going to get up. I have a lot to do. Okay. I want to film a video, so I'm going to get up, make my coffee, do my makeup film a video i want to clean around the house i want to make food for my boyfriend and do some laundry and wash my makeup brushes so it's a lot on the list a lot and then i want to um work out and shower <laughs> i was so lazy i didn't know you didn't shower last night i was like you know what or whatever <laughs> so yeah that's the plan for the day and you guys are gonna come along in my Day full of chores today, so yeah. So you guys guess what time it is? That's right. It's time for coffee. Nobody playing those games. There's like barely any water in here. My boyfriend never refills that. Is this one microwave safe? Let me get water, guys. So it's homeboy. One that's open in here. Homeboy never fills this. I think that's enough for me. My sugar-free coffee. Man, I am tired. I don't know how I'm going to do it next week when I go back to work. The first day, I don't go in until 1 anyway, so I'm like, well, that's good, because the rest of the week, I go in at 9. How am I going to leave my house at 8 in the morning with a full face of makeup? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I mean, I know. I do. I did it before all the time, but I'm telling you guys, I've never had a break from work for this long. So it's gonna be a little hard. I literally wake up every day like so late. Literally like at 11 every day or even later sometimes. So we'll see. My longa guys. I'm just gonna refill <sighs> the water from the coffee machine. Uh, like I said, my friend never does it. <laughs> I usually fill it up the night before, like to have it ready every night for him in the morning. Because he doesn't do it. So rude. Why is there potatoes right here? So confused. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm doing my makeup to film a video. Um, like I said, I wanted to be productive today, so that's what we're doing. Let me put on. I was gonna put on my brows, but let me just do my eye makeup really quick. I finally have new brushes. Like, not new, but, like, I switched them out. I have literally, like, a billion brushes, you guys. Like, a billion brushes. Like, I never need to buy brushes ever again in my life. But I get so lazy and I don't switch them out, which is... I used to do it so often. Like, literally so often I would switch them out. But I get so lazy now. Like, ever since I moved here to this apartment, I don't know why. I just get so lazy. I think because I don't have, like, a 
proper way to store them. I get really lazy. Like over there, I had them stored very nicely. Right here, I have them all in like a tin bin thing, like a um, container. So I think that's why like I'm too lazy to like get them out. But they used to be so nicely displayed over there, like in all in drawers. So I would go and switch them out a lot. And now I don't. Um. What are we gonna do? I was gonna do like a normal bronzy brown eye, but I think I'm gonna do like a mauvey flirty look with this palette. This is the Natasha Denona Cupid palette. Oh, how perfect is this for Valentine's Day? I think I'm gonna do something with this. I'm gonna go in with this shade next. You guys, I am literally obsessed with my nails. Look how cute they are. Every time I have nails, I just just feel so powerful. I don't know. I always say that I'm not gonna stop getting nails when I get them, but then I then I stop, and I need to not <laughs> feel so good with nails on. Obviously, I wasn't gonna. This wasn't like supposedly my last nail set that I did was gonna be my last nail set in a while, anyways, because obviously things were supposed to be different. I was supposed to have my baby with me so I didn't want to have like super long pointy nails that were going to hurt him but things changed so I decided I wanted to go get my nails done to feel um just to feel a little better and a little cuter for like back to work since it is like a difficult time the good thing is that I'm pretty much just working with my two original managers that i would always work with because there's a couple well there's one new manager and like a couple new girls but i pretty much just work with my same team for the most part so that's good because i don't want to be like overwhelmed and i really don't i already told my 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 bff co-worker from work <laughs> um i asked her if everybody knew about my situation at work because i really 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 don't want to be not ambushed, but like overwhelmed with like questions or naming questions. Just people telling me like, hey, I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't, I know like people are like, are wanting to say it like, cause they're like hurt for me and they feel for me, but I really don't need that right now. Um, I, I, I really can't, like, I don't think I can hear people telling me I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Like I, I just can't. So I told my, my friend from work I was like hey does everybody know about my situation I would just rather not have people asking me like how's the baby or like how are you or like you know just yeah I just want to avoid all that so she said they let all the staff know about my situation that way I wouldn't be like overwhelmed and I didn't have to tell people myself so yeah um I feel like that's why I'm kind of nervous to go back to work and I don't know how to explain it, but obviously my life, my situation was expected to be different when I went back to work. So going back to work now, I feel really weird. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I feel really weird because it's not, my life is not the way it was supposed to be. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, enough sad talk. I don't want to start off my day like this. So um, I'm going to go in with this very pretty, like, shimmery, champagne-y pink. Color. I'm gonna wet it with Mario spray. I always like to wet my shimmers. Let me do it without any anything first. Oh, that's very pretty. It's very pretty, but like I said, I like to wet my shadows. Like usually, yep, you get like the full effect. I didn't even tell you guys what I'm filming. I'm filming my Ulta haul. I already filmed the part where I'm, where I test out the makeup. It's gonna be two different videos, like me testing out new makeup and then me doing a haul. But I was supposed to do the haul right after I did my makeup that day because obviously my makeup was gonna be done. And then I didn't have time, or I just I don't know. I just didn't do it. And now it's been like days, and I still haven't filmed the haul. And I gotta film it because I have some some things that I have to return. So I have to film it to show everything and then go return my stuff. Ooh, it looks so pretty. 
Should I do actual eyeliner or should I do like eyeshadow eyeliner? Let's try eyeshadow eyeliner with this brown on this palette. It looks very pretty. I'm gonna try to do some eyeliner with this brown. I don't think that brown is dark enough though. Let's try. Yeah, this one's darker. This is the Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. I actually love this palette. My sister gave this to me. I'm gonna use this one right here, which is very weird because I feel like I'm usually not intrigued by Too Faced at all whatsoever, but this palette really caught my eye. This brown is not dark enough either. It's not dark enough. Okay, that brown was still not dark enough. So let me see if this brown is dark enough. And maybe I'll mix a little bit of black. This is from the Anastasia. Um, sorry, stop glam palette. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit darker. This mascara is part of that um, Ulta haul that I'm doing. It is so good, you guys. Oh, this actually looks so pretty. I hate that it always transfers. Um, the Lash Like a Boss Essence Mascara. It's so, so good, you guys. Like, I like this one better than the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. For me personally, it just works better. It lifts. It gives volume. It gives length. It does it all. The other one, the e.l.f. one gives length, but it's more um, of a separating mascara, which I don't tend to like that much. Like, they look, I feel like my lashes look like I have like three lashes. Because to begin with, I don't really have a lot of lashes or a lot of length to them. And that mascara makes it look like I have three lashes and like spidery. I don't know. I showed these yesterday, but these are the AOA lashes in the style Alexis that my sister gave me. Um, I've been wanting to try this for forever, but I've never ordered from Shop Miss A because I hear that it takes forever. But they have them at Amazon, and my sister ordered them from Amazon, and she accidentally ordered two, so that's perfect for me. And it actually came with two, with two. It, it came with a glue. And a lash applicator, all for um five something, I think, you guys. So that's so cool. It even has a lash applicator. So I'm gonna try to use that because I always just use my tweezers. Oh, great. It's time for the hard part where I have nails on again. So it's hard to really do stuff. I don't wanna pull. Ah! Okay, we got one. <laughs> I think I have to trim them a little bit. They look super long, but I don't know if I just want to leave them and kind of... I'm going to start off with a moisturizer. This is a fourth rate coconut face milk. I haven't used these in so long, and this is actually the last one that I have, I think. And it's literally so hydrating, so if you have dry skin, I tend to recommend. Even if you don't, it's good for anybody. I think it will be very beneficial if you have dry skin because it feels so amazing. Um, okay, next I'm going to prep with the e.l.f. Skin Woe Glow Sun Touchable Sunscreen Slash Primer. I'm going to use this one. It's also from the haul. But I really like it. Super glowy. My friend on Instagram was asking for uh, a dupe for the Tula sunscreen. I've never tried that one, but I think my favorite YouTuber, Juicy Jazz, Jasmine, used that one. And it looks super pretty, super glowy on the skin. Like, it gives literally the prettiest glow. I think this is a nice dupe for that one, Wendy. Um, like I said, I don't think it's as glowy from what I've seen, but it definitely, I don't know if you can see it. definitely gives off, let me go on the light. It definitely gives off a really pretty all-over glow. It's very, very pretty. It looks very healthy and skin-like. So maybe check this out. I used the lash applicator and I actually really liked it. I think I have to kind of work with it, like practice with it a little bit more because I'm used to just using regular tweezers and obviously it's like a different shape. But I liked it and it's, this one is really feels like really good quality. Okay. Let's do foundation. Should we do matte or glowy? I honestly don't want to just do my makeup with it just to do it here because this foundation is so expensive. So I'm going to not use that one. Um, let's use... Um, 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 I'm going to use the one that I used from True Skin from Catrice the other day. I forget when I used it, but I really liked it. So I'm going to use that one. 
When did I use it? I used it recently in the video, I think. Very pretty foundation. Very good coverage, too. When I tried this on the first time on my trying testing out new makeup, this is the Flower Beauty um, Get Real Concealer. I didn't like it. Like, it was not my favorite. It looked like it barely gave me coverage, and it was blending out really weird, but I think it was because of all the glowy products underneath. Like, it was making the concealer sl just slip and slide and not, um, like, blend in nicely. It was literally just slipping and sliding everywhere. But, today I feel like it looks really nice. And I think it helps that I did use a corrector underneath, the Milani one. I love this one the, in Peach. Love this corrector underneath. Um, it looks very pretty. It looks very hydrated. The formula is very thin, which is great because it's a serum concealer. Serum concealer, so obviously it's thin and it looks good. I've been really enjoying the um, Kat Von D palette again, the contour one. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It's so nice because you get three different shades. It's a, the formula is very nice and like smooth, and the pigmentation is there. Wait. The True Matte, True Match Blush from um, L'Oreal. So good. Look at this cute little brat's brush. But it's so pigmented, so be careful. Oh, I still need my brows. I forgot. <laughs> For lips, I'm using ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in the shade Good and Plenty. I can't breathe when I do my lip liner, and I can't breathe when I do my eyeliner. That is very pretty. And I'm just going to fill it in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the color Happy. Oh, I thought that said Happy Earth. It just says Happy. I don't know where I was getting that from. I love these, they're so moisturizing. Uh, I love these so much. Look at that formula, you guys. Like, it's so glossy. It's not gonna be like an intense lipstick. It's just like a nice, it's like a tinted lip balm, but it's more pigmented than a lip balm, if that makes sense. So it's like a nice, like, in between. I love it. And that's it for the makeup. I'm gonna set with um what is this called? Morphe. <laughs> and do my brows because I didn't do them. I'm gonna use the little stamp and stencil kit. I really like the concept, but I'm not so like convinced with these brow shapes. I just don't like them. I'm gonna try to just do the end and kind of fill in the front on my own because I don't know. I'm not vibing. I'm not vibing with it. I already used literally all of them except for number four, but number four looks so thick. Yeah, we're not gonna do number four. I used two the other day, but I still didn't like it. But this looked like more like my shape. Let's see number three. Yeah, no, number two is more of my shape, but I I don't. Know. I love the concept, you guys, because it's literally so easy. But I hate the shape. Okay, I'm just gonna fix it a little bit like that. I wasn't even filming. I was trying to talk to you guys about my brows, but I don't like the shade, but I fixed them a little bit with my brow pencil. I filled in the tail a little bit in the front right here, and I kind of make the arc, arch a little bit like higher right here because it looked flat. So it still only took me like a minute or two to do them, so that's a plus. So I'm gonna keep trying it out. Oh, you guys can't even see me. It's 10 53, you guys. I finished filming. Now all I'm doing is trying on back to work outfits. I'm trying to decide if I just, I think this shirt is too cute to wear with anything on top. I have this cute little vest that I was like, maybe with the vest, but I think we're gonna wear it by itself. These pants fit me so much better. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know, I like the vest, but like, I don't know. I think we can just wear by itself. I also have this is the one that I bought from Sheen yesterday that I was too lazy to take out to show you guys. But maybe I can do it with this too. But I feel like it looks cuter if we keep it all 
the Keep It All Black. I don't like this, by the way. I, I never wear these with it because I look fat, but... <laughs> I think that's cute, too. I have a black one, but I think I might just do the black one or just wear the shirt, the bodysuit by itself. But I might just do the black one because I feel like it looks cute with all black. I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna do a little Ross haul for you guys because I bought some stuff at Ross the other day So the first thing was actually this bodysuit that I was wearing. So it's just a long sleeve It has this really pretty detail right here. I feel like this is very flattering for me personally and like my body shape bigger breasts <laughs> um, it, it looks really cute. I feel and then I also bought this really cute like um, button-up Top I guess um, it's not a jacket. It's super thin, but it's like this corduroy mater material, it's brown. Very cute, I really like it. It's a little longer from the back. So cute, 10, 10. And then next I also bought this other one that is in green. This one is like a fluffy green one and this was on clearance. It was actually, it's like ripping from the front a little bit but you can't tell, it's where the buttons are like in, the, in the seams in here. So I was like, can you guys give a discount because it's ripping? But it was actually, they were like, oh, it's actually clearance. So instead of $9.99, it was $6.99. I just thought it was so cute. Ow! I got my nail. I thought it was so cute because it's like a fluffy, like, jacket thing. And I think I could still really dress it up and make it look super cute. I feel like an all black outfit would look really cute with this. This isn't a size small, by the way, but it runs very big you guys can't even see that good let me move here is that a little bit better that's better okay so this is this one it's so cute love it it's like again like this very like soft fluffy material so cute 10 10 <laughs> so cute and it's so cozy um most of the things that i got were like little button ups like this <laughs> then the next one Oh, I got a blazer! Oh my god. Uh, it's not gonna be for everybody. It's like this weird blue, like, satiny blazer. <laughs> but I thought it was cute, and it was on clearance for $7.99, so... Your girl snatched. And where I work, I do wear a lot of blazers. I don't have to look, like, super professional, but I like to, like, dress up my outfit. So, imagine this. I look super professional. Look at this. But this isn't how I would wear it, um... Maybe all black for this one as well, and then my hair down because I feel like it looks way too like professional with my hair up like this. I don't know, it still looks kind of cute, but I, my hair down and like curly, I think that would be super cute. But only seven ninety nine for this cute blazer, you guys love it. And then uh, next, I got um a white button up because I've been wanting a white like oversized button up shirt for like forever, just like a plain one, just like a cute little but in that moment so i want to wear this with light jeans like these but with a white little cami underneath just like a simple cami underneath and just access really focus on the accessories for this so do like a nice heeled booty um layer like two necklaces together a cute earring so maybe like these earrings are so cute they have like little pearls on them i don't know if my hair is down or up i think either one would look cute with this outfit and my watch and like my bracelets i don't know i just think the accessories are really gonna make it come together because it's a very plain outfit but it's a nice staple to have in my opinion um i got some leather like leggings these are like a rusty orange color like this i just need more pants i was really looking for more pants because obviously i am bigger than i was before so my jeans don't fit me so i was looking for comfortable pants to wear to work and that's the only pair i found um i got a selena shirt cute little t-shirt that i thought i can just wear with some um ribbed jeans some sneakers and a leather, leather jacket and that's a cute outfit as well um and then i also got this little cardigan it's so cute it was only like seven bucks you guys 7.99 it's a little grandma cardigan as i like to call them it's so cute man i am filming so much today this video is already four minutes long this clip Look at how cute that is. It's so cute. It's so cozy. The sleeves are a little bit more like puffy. Maybe they hang, but I think it's such a cute look and such a cute vibe. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna wear this one. Probably cami underneath and jeans as well, like this one, but not a black shirt. And it's like a lighter colored shirt. So maybe like a creamish white shirt underneath. Yes. 
Um, and then last but definitely not least, um, I have another button up top. <laughs> I had one of these in black that I got from Shein and I cannot find it anywhere. I literally could not find it anywhere in my apartment. So I don't know if maybe I stored it away by accident in one of the bags that I have like in my storage closet outside. Um, but this one is a cute little satin um, nude shirt, like ivory, not ivory. What is this? Like a tan color shirt? So cute. Yes. Um, that's everything I got. I'm going to try to go this weekend again to find more bottoms because that's really what I'm looking for. Like comfortable pants maybe like a cute pair of jeans these jeans my mom gave them to me and they actually didn't fit me that well at first when i tried them on i'm not gonna tell you guys what size they are but because we're working on it um but they fit me so much better now you guys like i could barely button it up and now look at this love it okay i'm gonna clean up because i have a mess in this room i'm gonna clean up and then i'm gonna go go start making food i think or start cleaning out there in the kitchen and living room so Come along. I have to do some laundry today. It's Wednesday and I go back to work on Monday and I want to cry. I just keep reminding myself of, of that because I'm like, girl, you're going back soon. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm thankful that I have a job still, so that's that's good. Just separating my laundry loves. Literally, all my laundry is just leggings, sweatpants, sweatshirts. I love it. The coziest outfits, but soon it's gonna be actual outfits, like cute outfits. <laughs> um, oh, I'm excited to go back, you guys, because I I think I talked about this. Like, I'm excited to go back and like have um like other things in my mind. You know, like keeping myself occupied and busy, like at work. Um, but I'm also not excited in terms of um like getting ready every day again like I, I am excited for that because i love i love doing makeup if you guys have seen me for a long time or if you guys know me you guys know that i love fashion i love makeup it's literally my passion it sounds so cliche and like cheesy but i love it like it makes me so happy but obviously right now i am not in the best like mental state and in general and then also on top of that having like all these body changes um it doesn't get me that excited because I, I try stuff on and I don't like how it looks on me because obviously my body changed and my body's different now. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna like the the one thing that would excite me for work when I when I was working was literally getting ready every day, getting my fashion my fashion on, <laughs> my outfits ready. And I'm like, and now that's not even gonna get me excited because I don't like how things look on me, but. I'm trying to be a pos be positive. Um, you guys saw me trying on some outfits and stuff, and I I liked how they looked. Um, I'm not like in love with how I look, like I said, but I liked how the outfits look. So I'm just trying to stay positive and keep a positive mindset and just be kind to myself and remember that my body did like a beautiful thing and all that. Um, and it's not a it's not gonna be a forever thing that I feel like this and that I feel like uncomfortable in my body the way it looks right now because i am working so hard on it you guys i've literally been working out a lot um and i've been eating as clean as i can obviously i'm not trying to restrict myself like 100 percent. like if i if i see somebody eating something and i want some i'll try it a little bit because i don't want to have that mentality that i can't like i cannot try anything i cannot have a single bite of this or whatever i don't want to have that mentality because it's gonna mess with my head even more and i'm gonna at the end of the day i'm gonna come out with more mental like health issues if i go down that path if that makes sense so i'm trying to be healthy but i'm also trying to be open-minded about food in general i hope that makes sense i feel like i'm all over the place but i hope that makes sense um anyways i'm gonna do two loads of laundry so let me get that started. Oh, you always have stuff in here. <laughs> you guys, look at my cute little um, soap thing. How cute is that? Let me try to pump. Obviously, it's hard with one hand, but I'm trying to pump to show you guys. <laughs> It's so cute. Ah. I'm going to do, obviously, the detergent. I'm going to do just one of these. These are scent boosters, by the way. My sister was asking me about these. These are scent boosters. Smell really good. They have, like, a couple different ones. Um, They're from this brand right here, from Snuggle. 
And then I just have some um, Sand Booster beads as well that I just got. And I want to try them out. So I'm going to do this and that. Both of them. We're going to do a little bit of everything so the clothes smells nice and good. That's how you know you're like a, um, adulting at its finest, right? Because these things get me excited. This container, by the way, is from Dollar Tree. This is also from Dollar Tree. And this is from Target. I literally just used one of the like measuring things from like the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna do just like a, a full whatever this is. <laughs> these smell so good, you guys. I got these. Uh, I don't have the packaging no more, but this is from the Clor Clorox brand, and I got them at Dee Dee's discount store. I need to clean my washing machine because it's looking a little dirty. Ugh. Oh my god. Good to go. is nice and clean i love having a clean apartment like it's just so satisfying and then also the living room is nice and clean i love this little arrangement that i made by the way i think i showed you guys a little flower arrangement so cute i just want like a wooden circle tray to put everything in there and like keep the remote in there the candle the diffuser and the flowers i think that's super cute and next project is to work on this you guys because i hate all of this in here except for this obviously um, I have this cute little teddy bear, and then I have this cute little mug of um, baby Erin. Um, so that's going to stay there for sure, but everything else, I'm going to decorate this and make this look cute. And I need something to put in these. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, but I love how it came together. I also need other stuff for these shelves because I don't like how this looks. But I love, love, love this. It's almost 12.30. I was just going to have one of these breakfast um, protein shakes. This is strawberries and cream. But I'm actually really hungry and I want like actual food. So I think I'm going to make an omelet. I bought ham the other day, turkey ham. Um, and eggs. If you know, you know. We're bougie like that. We have eggs. Um, <laughs> they're so expensive. So I'm going to make an omelet, I think. And my cousin posted a picture of one and it looks so good. So... I'm gonna make that and then some little these are super greasy and like not healthy whatsoever but I'm gonna make two of these on the side like little sausages just because I want some and I'm gonna actually put some I'm gonna make like um chow mein type of meal <laughs> for my boyfriend for later so I'm gonna put some spaghetti to boil so I can be ready because I'm just waiting on the chicken it's still not defrosted so once that's ready, at least everything else will be ready and then I can just make the chicken and mix it in there. So let's do that. But I'm going to make my omelet first. No, I'm going to put my spaghetti to boil and then make my omelet. <laughs> make our omelet. I put the spaghetti. It's only, I only have so little oil. I didn't realize how little there was in that box, but it's only for my boyfriend. Obviously, because I'm not eating that. I have a pre-made salad that I bought at Walmart. Um, look how cute my little oil thing is. It's from Dollar Tree. Cause we bought like a huge oil thing from Sam's Club, um, so we needed like a container. Yes, we love. 
so easy to use um, to pour the oil out so we don't have to use like the huge bottle all the time. So what I'm going to put in my um, omelet, so I'm going to do some turkey breast, um, thin sliced turkey breast. And then I'm going to do a little bit of onion and we're going to do some crushed red pepper, obviously salt. And that's pretty much it. And then we're going to do cheese. I have this cheese right here. And like I said, I'm going to make some of these sausages on the side. So I have my onion and my ham. Nice. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm going to actually put some, I like to put some nor. I don't know. I'm weird. My mom does this sometimes. So mama knows best. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit with my ham and my onion. Because I'm still going to put salt in my actual omelet. Just a tiny bit of this to give it some flavor, and I'm gonna do some crushed red pepper as well. Oh my god, smells so good, you guys! I'm gonna do two eggs in a bowl. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt because we already put salt on the um, ham and onion and all that. Mix it all up and then we're going to pour it in here. I like to put it on low so that way it gets nice and cooked like evenly. And I do it, I left it like a three and a half for the level and I'm going to cover it up. That way it thoroughly cooks through. And let me put away all my mess. Got a little crispy, but I was really letting it cook so that way it wouldn't break on me. And it didn't break on me. It almost did, but it didn't break on me. So, I'm so excited. It looks so good. Let me try to show you guys with the bad camera because you can't touch it. It looks delicious. I know it looks a little burnt, but trust me, that, that's, that's good. <laughs> um, let me get a plate. I just put my little sausages to cook. I only have four in the pack, so I just did all four. I'm probably gonna eat two, maybe three, but whatever. I just made them all. We're still waiting on my sausages. I promise it's not burnt. <laughs> um, but there's that. Oh, it looks so good. I'm still waiting on my sausages, like I said, but I just can't wait. So I'm gonna try it. You can watch me try it. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Literally just how I imagined it. It's so good. So flavorful. Finally, um, I just put all four of them. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna eat all of them, but if I do, oh well. <laughs> I have ketchup and two different hot sauces, and I'm watching Friends, and then water. That's my drink of choice because I already had coffee. I love this, by the way. My sister gave this to me. Not sure where she got it from, but that's the brand up here, S L M. Okay, so as per usual, it's, this is a recipe for my mom. So I just have some chicken right here. Um. I cut up some carrot and some red bell pepper. Um, I only did a little bit because like I said, it's only for my boyfriend. I'm gonna cut up some onion as well. So I'm gonna throw all that in there once the chicken is almost like 100% cooked. Um, what was I doing? I have the spaghetti over here. And then once the chicken and like all the veggies are done, I'm gonna throw in, she said to do like a spoonful of brown sugar. And then you throw the noodles in and then you throw in your soy sauce. So. Yeah, it's so good when my mom makes it. Obviously, it's not gonna taste the same, but we are out here trying. Hey, you guys, it is ready. I didn't vlog the rest of it, but literally looks so good. I already tried it. I just tried it, obviously, to make sure that I put like enough soy sauce and all that. So good. Now I have more dishes to do. They just never end. We fill my water bottle. We, I think I mentioned it before. We don't have like gallon, like a gallon of water, so we just buy water bottles which I know is not good for the environment but this is what we're working with until I don't know why we've been procrastinating and don't just buy a gallon of water this water bottle literally makes me oh my god I spilled it so much it like motivates me to drink water I don't know why like <laughs> And I've bought in like water bottles before and they never motivate me to drink water, ever. But with this one, I don't know, I literally just refill it all the time and drink so much water from it. 
It's just finished working out. That's why I look like this. <laughs> I, I love my makeup on. I don't know why. But, oh my god. <sighs> That's gonna be the end of the vlog, you guys. This vlog is already so long. It's literally gonna be like 40 something minutes long. So I don't even know if anybody's gonna stick around to watch it. But if you did, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below that we don't miss out on future videos. I have a lot of fun videos planned. So subscribe, like I said, and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.